Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another video. It's another beautiful day here in Cincinnati. And by beautiful, I mean it's like nine degrees and snowing out, so there's that. And so what was probably against my better judgment, I decided to roll out of my comfy warm bed this morning to brave the frigid cold to come up here to the Overstock store and hopefully find some treasure to flip online for a profit. Look at that, the line's not too bad this morning. People didn't want to get out. Thank you. Thank you. All right, here we go. So here we are once again at the Amazon Overstock store or just the liquidation bins, whatever you want to call them. Today was restock day. Everything in the store today was $5. Every single item you see is a flat fee. So the Steel Series keyboard you saw me put in my bag, $5. That phone case sitting there, $5. Everything that you're seeing right here is all the same price. Not every item is going to be worth that $5. So you got to dig through all of this stuff to find the treasures, find the stuff that's worth it, and see if you can't come out with some really good items that you can make a profit on. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Good, how are you doing? I'm not bad, not bad, can't complain. Want anything good? I got a keyboard already. Are these? Are those they're crappy? Cool. Yeah, they're crappy. Yeah. There right there was another local reseller and subscriber. I've run into him a few times here at the store. If you guys ever see me at these stores, make sure you stop me and say hi. So today was a pretty snowy day out here in Cincinnati, which means not a lot of people were standing in line to get in the store. Normally when you come, there's usually a line that's, you know, people are start starting to line up for for hours and hours beforehand. But today I only waited 15 minutes and I was probably 25, 30 people back, which never happened. So I was hoping to find some really hey, good stuff doing? today. Unfortunately for me though, it seemed like a bunch of the stuff in the bins today was, you know, just it, just items that didn't have a ton of value. Not, not necessarily junk, but not stuff that I was personally looking for because I'm looking for stuff that I can flip online for a profit, not necessarily stuff that I can use for myself. If you're there for yourself, there's probably some good deals. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, how are you? Good. Are you getting uh, any good stuff? I got a keyboard, which is oh. a good one, yeah. It's slow today. Yeah, I got up here like 15 minutes before it opened and I was like, oh, okay. Oh, this looks like 20 bucks. That one is? It's a skincare thing, but it's unwrapped, so I don't know. Whatever. I'll check it. You found a knife set that you don't want. Not a knife set, but you can use the cutlery set that you don't want. Yeah, yeah. I haven't found any. <laughs> That was a nice little exchange right there. This is a woman who I've run into a few times now at the stores and she's a new recent subscriber as well. She basically found that little box and was like, hey, this is open box, I don't want to resell it, but I think they go for around 40 bucks if you're interested. So I put it in my bag to look up later. Unfortunately, it wasn't worth 40 bucks, but I appreciate the sentiment. And then you heard her say that she was looking for flatware or silverware set. I thought she meant like the cutting boards and stuff, which you'll see here in a little bit. I actually ended up finding one of them. And I think that's a nice little thing to do. If you know other resellers that are into certain things that you're looking for and that you're not necessarily looking for yourself, it doesn't hurt to help one another out because you never know how that might be reciprocated in the future. And speaking of those cutting boards, here they are right here. These are what I thought she was looking for. So I threw them in my bag just in case I saw her again. Here's a nice little score right here. So you can see this guy on my right moves out of the way and sitting right where he was standing was this guy right here. This is a little immersion kit for behind your TV. Anytime I see a box that looks like it's well made, I'll put it in my bag and look it up later. And that ended up being worth some pretty good money. And to top it off, that guy was another reseller. I saw him looking up stuff and putting items back later on in the day. So it goes to show, don't be worried about going into aisles or going into bins behind another reseller because you never know what they might have missed. I've made some great scores going in right behind other resellers before. Is that what you wanted? No. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah, take it. Yeah. And here I saw that lady walking by who asked me about the uh, silverware set and I thought she meant the cutting board so I showed her the cutting boards. It wasn't what she was looking for but she said she was still interested. Win-win situation. Again, just try to reciprocate uh, nice gestures whenever somebody gives it to you. It can lead to some very good friendships in the future. But now I am going over and just looking through all the items I threw in my bag. We'd been in the store for about 45 minutes at this point, and I figured it was time to start looking up items, start limiting my selections down, and seeing what I'm actually going to purchase. 
Look at the solds on that guy right there. 65, 50, 85. Nice one. And unfortunately, after scanning and looking up all the items on eBay and Amazon and Mercari and stuff, I ended up putting back the vast majority of the items that I picked up. I think I put back probably half of the items in my bag, so unfortunately, sometimes that's how it works out when you pick up comps. You just throw stuff in your bag and hope it's worth something, and then later on you find out it's not worth anything. So I definitely recommend if you go to one of these stores, look up your stuff before you check out, because you don't want to check out with a bunch of items that turn out to not be good scores. And then what you're seeing here is just me going through the bins one more time. I did one more lap around the store just to see if anything else caught my eye before I went. Unfortunately, I didn't find anything else, so I just went straight to the checkout and bought the items that I was happy with. All right, not too bad of a haul there. I ended up getting some pretty good stuff. I'll go over it all with you when we get back home. <laughs> And just like that, we are back here in the eBay room. And yes, before someone mentions it, I am in my comfy pants filming this video because perks of being your own boss. Anyways though, yesterday's overstocked haul ended up not being the greatest haul I've ever had at the store. There weren't that many good items that I ended up finding, and sometimes it just goes like that. You can't expect to go to these stores every single time and be killing it coming out with a ton of items worth thousands of dollars in profit. Even though that's kind of unfortunate because there weren't a ton of people there yesterday, and I was really hoping we were going to have, you know, more of a chance to score some really good items. But that's not how it ended up playing out. I did end up spending about 45 minutes in the store digging through the bins. I picked up 12 items at $5 a piece, and I will take you through all those right now. The first item here is this Grove Immersion Ambient Lighting Kit. It's like lighting that goes around the back of your TV. This is obviously open box, and the box is damaged, but it's brand new inside there. Next, we have some Wi-Fi light switches here. These work with Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant, so anytime I see something that can pair with those, I always look it up because a lot of times they're going to have some value behind them. This next item here is a pretty cool one. This is a Tom Shoe wood-burning stove. It's a little portable camp stove. It's obviously sealed in the box, so I'm not going to open it up. But I actually know what this is because when I was hiking the Appalachian Trail, I saw someone trying to use one of these, and it wasn't very efficient for, you know, multi-day purposes like he has. But if you're going on a little overnight trip and just need something to cook your ramen on, this thing is pretty dang cool. Next up here, we have an item that I was really excited to find. I was This was one of the first items I pulled out of the bin, actually. This is a SteelSeries Apex 3 RGB keyboard. It's a mechanical keyboard, and SteelSeries is a great gaming brand to look for. It is brand new in there. You can see it's still in the wrapping, and that's a nice, nice little item. This one here I might end up keeping for myself. I'm not really sure yet. It's just a Bottle Joy 32 ounce water bottle. This one will go for about 20 bucks if I ended up deciding to sell it, but I need a new one, so I might end up keeping this for myself. This next one right here is a nice little score. This is a Biodroga eye cream. It's called Golden Caviar, and whenever I find cosmetics in these bins, I like to look them up because a lot of times they have some value behind them. If you do find some and you want to buy them, make sure you open them up and make sure the seal inside the cosmetic itself is still on there. You don't want to sell something that has been previously used. And then also check the expiration date on these. You don't want to be selling expired goods because that'll get your eBay account pulled. Next up here is a Peerless Tub Spout. It is brand new in the box. This was one of those items I just looked up because I was looking for more items to buy because I wasn't finding all that much, but this little tub spout here ended up having a little bit of value behind it, so I went ahead and grabbed it. Next up here, we have one of those little game systems that have 620 built-in games in them. I want to make a note on this. Don't sell these on eBay if you find them at the Overstock stores. They're pretty common to find at these kinds of places, but eBay will pull these listings sometimes, so I suggest selling them on other marketplaces or locally if you are a local vendor. Here's another one of the better items right here. This is a Regal Smart Lock. Again, anytime something says smart or Wi-Fi connected, I always look it up and locks can have some crazy value behind them. This one right here, I wasn't familiar with the brands, but I looked it up and it had some good, good value. I think this was like the second item I picked up in the bins. This little guy right here is a List Wine Breather and Carafe. I'm not really sure what it is. I think it might like aerate the wine before you drink it or something. It had some a little bit of value behind it, nothing crazy, but the box did have a little bit of damage down there, so I did have to open it up to make sure it was in good condition. It was, and you know, not the biggest profit, but we'll take it. Here's another one of the really good items I got. This is an Alltech Lansing Smart Security System. It is brand new in the package, as you can see right there. All the seals are intact on the box, but the box has been damaged, so I'll note that in the listing, but that was a really good score. 
And then the final few items I got were a couple of DVD sets. First here, we got Yellowstone. It is three seasons of it, and these sell very, very well. This will probably go into Amazon. And then the final item, Lucifer season one through four. This will go over to Amazon as well. Like I said, this was not the greatest haul I've ever had out there at the Overstock store. I'm glad I didn't get there early and like wait an hour for this stuff, but sometimes that's just how it goes when you go to these stores. You never know how much stuff you're gonna find, if you're gonna find anything at all, and sometimes you just come away with a handful of items. However, for the 45 minutes that I did spend in the store and the 15 minutes that I was waiting beforehand, so it was about an hour total at this store, I think I did pretty good profit per hour. I'll put a potential gross profit up top for you guys right now so you can see kind of what I'm expecting to sell all this stuff for. But that's going to wrap things up for this video. Let me know down in the comments, have you ever been to one of these Overstock stores? And if so, what was your best day or your best item that you've ever scored at one of these places? I would love to know how your guys' experiences compare to mine. Otherwise, though, I'm going to end it here, so be sure to go down low, smash that like button for me, and subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one. Till next time, keep on treasure hunting. Peace.